these airports are great for traveling. Today I am flying four flights. Hey, good morning. Welcome to this video. Today is Christmas Eve. I'm just eating some breakfast right now. I'm having an acai bowl. I've been having acai bowls the last couple of days and they've been so nice. As I said before, today's Christmas Eve. You probably won't get this video um, until after Christmas. So Merry Christmas and I hope you guys all had a lovely Christmas and New Year's. But today I am working and I'm going to share with you what it's like working Christmas as a flight attendant and if you do need to work Christmas as a flight attendant because to be honest this is probably the first Christmas that I haven't had to work on Christmas Day which is tomorrow I actually don't have work tomorrow which is like unheard of basically <laughs> yeah when you sign up for the job you basically sign your public holidays away because public holidays and summer holidays they're usually the time that people actually travel it's been a busy week I'm pretty tired I've been working pretty much all week this week and today I'm flying four flights. So it's gonna be a busy long day, um, but we're gonna get through it. It's Christmas Eve. We're gonna have a good positive energy. We're gonna be happy. We're gonna help customers. Yeah, that's my goal for today. I'm gonna finish my breakfast, but I just recently bought some new makeup products that I wanna share with you. I haven't tested them yet, so I'm excited to test them today and to bring you along with me on this day. So I hope you enjoy this video. So these are the three products that I've bought. I've got a mascara, a bronzer, and a foundation. So this is the True Match Foundation by L'Oreal. I hope this is the right skin color for me. <laughs> Not usually a brush gal, but let's try it. I don't know about this. Can you see that? This is why I never use a brush, because you always get the strokes. Unless there's a way to get rid of the strokes, let me know in the comments. Let's just go in with the hands. I feel like with foundation, I have my fave that I always go to. And then when I try a new product, it's never good enough. But I don't know, maybe I need to test this one out again. Overall, the color, actually, no, actually the color, the color's quite nice and yeah, I take that back, it's actually right. Okay, I'm gonna try the bronzer now. I mostly bought this bronzer because it looks really pretty. <laughs> like, look at that. Looks so gorgeous. Oh, too much. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. Yes, 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 yes. I like this a lot. I feel like I don't even need to put on highlighter because there's already like glimmers of highlight in there. It's really, really nice. Looks like I've put too much on, but I promise you I haven't. <laughs> and this is the mascara that I'm going to try out. It's a L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I found that the mascara that I'm currently using, it would start dropping on my under my eyelids. And I think that's a sign that it's old or something, or that it's you need to get a new one. So, so I got a new one. To be honest, I never really reached for the L'Oreal mascaras, but let's give it a go. That's what the mascara brush looks like. I'm liking this mascara a lot. Does anyone else pull really weird faces when they do mascara? Really like the mascara. That's great. And then I'm gonna go in with some lipstick. This is the MAC Velvet Teddy. This is just like my go-to. Looks great on any skin color, I think. Well, there's my little makeup tutorial. I wasn't planning on doing like a tutorial at all or anything like that, but I did really want to test those products. And to be honest, I think they're all really good. My favorite is probably this um, by the brand X, sorry, Zero XX Blue. It's the marbled bronzer. And I literally got this from Kmart for $7. So jump on it. So I am all ready for work. Does anyone else leave their bathroom just like trashed after getting ready for work? All ready for the day. Got to clean that up before I leave. I am packing some pizza that I made last night. I'll insert a clip of what it looked like, but it's basically an eggplant zucchini pizza. And I'm going to bring that because I'm going to be working during lunch and dinner. And that's a long time, so I might get hungry. <laughs> Hello. 
I have just gotten to the airport. It's such a nice day here. I'm a bit early actually. I'm about 15 minutes early. Got a bit of time to chat to you guys. Today I'm doing four sectors as I said before. I'm first doing a Hobart return and then a Sydney return. So return means that I fly somewhere and then return back. I'll be flying Melbourne, Hobart, Hobart, Melbourne, Melbourne, Sydney, Sydney, Melbourne. Long day, four sectors. I finish around 9.30 p.m. tonight. It is currently 11.55 and then tomorrow I've got to be back at the airport at 5 a.m. because I'm flying to Newcastle for Christmas. So I've got to still pack and everything when I get home. Hopefully I get some sleep tonight. That would be great. <laughs> but yeah, it's Christmas Eve. I've had a lot of passengers that have been traveling to see loved ones that they haven't seen in like over a year because of the COVID lockdowns and all that stuff. So it's a really exciting time for everyone to be reunited with loved ones. During the Christmas season, I would normally wear like some Christmassy stuff, like some earrings or like some antlers or you know something festive but all of that is still in boxes at our house from moving so I actually couldn't find what I wanted to wear I have these antlers that I like to wear but anyways that's okay it's not the end of the world Did some aircon for a little bit, a little bit of a dance break. Anyways, so as I mentioned, as a flight attendant, you have to work Christmas. It's one of those things where you have to work public holidays, and unfortunately, you miss out on a lot of things. Like I've missed out on a lot of Christmases, I've missed out on weddings, birthdays, I've missed out on special occasions, family events, etc., etc. But it's just one of those things that comes with the job. So if you're thinking of being a flight attendant, perhaps take that into consideration. I'm not working Christmas, which is amazing but I am working New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I actually have airport at 5 a.m. on New Year's Day which is crazy because if I start at 5 I have to be up at 3. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Of course there's pros and cons of being a flight attendant that's probably more of the con. To be honest I think the pros outweigh the cons definitely. Anyways I'm gonna head to the bus so I'll talk to you in a little bit. By the night, by the Excitement stirring It's cold outside If all is merry and bright Feeling those good tidings It must be Christmas Eve I'm trying just I'm trying just Hey, good morning guys. It's actually the next day. It's currently 3.40 a.m. and I need to leave in 20 minutes <laughs> to get to the back to the airport. I arrived home at 11 p.m. last night and then I had to pack. So I literally only had like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna say like two and a half hours of sleep. <laughs> gosh, I am literally dead right now. Oh. Yesterday was such a busy day, as you can imagine it being Christmas Eve with four flights and they were all packed. I literally worked that whole time. <laughs> we didn't stop. <laughs> We were delayed by like an hour and then yeah by the time i got home it was 11 pm so that was great <laughs> and then i had to pack i'm heading to the airport soon to catch my flight to newcastle to spend that with my husband's family for christmas because we alternate christmases each year so we're doing his family this year i'm thinking of filming a little bit of my travels up there since i'm going on an aircraft and i'm actually flying with a different company to the company that i actually work for so that will be really interesting. I find it really interesting being a flight attendant on a different airline. So I'm always just like seeing what's different and, and things like that. But to be honest, I'll probably be sleeping on the flight. <laughs> it's only an hour and a bit flight time. So I'm literally just going to use that time to sleep and catch up on sleep so that I can enjoy Christmas and not be too tired. But yeah, this is life as a flight attendant, waking up Christmas day by yourself. <laughs> but luckily I'm going to be spending it with family later. So so that is great and I'm very grateful that I actually have this day off. Very grateful for that. Anyways, I need to quickly rush out the door. I have about 15 minutes. I'm not going to put any makeup on this morning, probably until I get to Newcastle. I'm just going to put on this face oil. This is um, by GoTo. It's really good. Um, <laughs> we definitely recommend it. And I'm running out actually, so I need to get some more stuff. Just feels like I'm and taking care of myself when I use that oil. So 
so I've just gotten to the airport. I'm here 15 minutes early, so the bus comes in 15 minutes. I'm contemplating having a nap. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna head into the airport and get going to Newcastle. I'm flying Jetstar today, so I'm excited to fly Jetstar. I haven't flown Jetstar in a long time. I don't know what else to say, but I'm so flippin' tired and I won't have to sleep on the plane definitely. Luckily I'm one of those people that can like pass out on the plane and just sleep the whole way through. I hope I bought my AirPods. Did I bring them? Yes I did. These AirPods are great for traveling because they have noise cancelling mode and aircrafts are so loud. So I like to wear these when I'm traveling and put the noise cancelling on so then I can just zen myself and sleep or listen to music or watch a movie. They're great. Anyways, I'm going to head on in now, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Light up the tree, it must be Christmas Eve. So I'm just at the airport and I've just gone through security and I'm just waiting for my gate to be open to catch the plane. Apparently I'm in an exit row, so that's exciting. I'll know exactly what to do. <laughs> yeah, exciting. See the sugar plums, hear the drum and strum. We're reuniting, carols being sung. A rum pum pum pum, feeling those good tidings. It must be Christmas Eve. to Newcastle, I guess I'm with. Hello, <laughs> Merry Christmas. The flight was good and I'm probably just gonna end this vlog here and enjoy Christmas. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. And I will see you guys in my next video. I mean, what the freak? I'm starting and ending. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, no. I'm not ending the vlog here, what the heck. Oh, there's a truck driving past. I'm doing a what am I doing? Uh, is it Sydney first or Hobart?